Hello and welcome back to Yukumo Village. So this is MH Geek here and today we're gonna be upgrading some equipment first. Before heading out that is, so don't you worry. Um, yes, I would like to upgrade my Hunter's Bow to uh, Hunter's Bow 2 and... Oh wow, we can even go one more level higher, Hunter's Bow 3. So there we go. And the next level is a Queen Blaster Type 64 Multi Bow or the Hunter Stout Bow. Um, I believe I will be going for the Quintus, the Quintus, bleh, the Queen's Blaster Bow because Rathian, Rathian weapons are usually pretty good. It has a nice spread as well um, in terms of arrows. And yeah, poison coating and coating at hunts poison effect up. Sure, why not? But in any case, um. My sponge gear, I can't upgrade it just yet, so... Yep. In any case, um... So... Oh, I'm... I'm so sorry about the lag. <laughs> My laptop isn't exactly the best, uh... You know, equipment that I have. But I don't have any... Any better... Any other better choice. So yeah, today we're gonna go and, um... Quickly cover some of the... Um, what do you call this? Backlog... Backlog of quests? Um, I have completed a number of the guild quests as you would know by now, so I'm just going to clear out the village quest to stay as much as possible in line. In fact, I think I'm, I'm lagging behind on village quests. So yeah, just going to quickly try and catch up on this. And oh, I actually forgot to, went to, forgot to go to the hot springs, so well, there's that. <laughs> so, we're going to take down the brood room first. And following which, we'll be taking down the Great Jagi. So given my um, slightly overpowered equipment, I I don't see it taking too long, hopefully. <laughs> well, I'm just going to prepare this paintball in case... Actually, to, hmm, never mind, I don't think I need the paintball that much. The Blue Drome doesn't run away in very unexpected or unpredictable manner. As compared to Jagi. Great Jagi, I mean. So... I should be stopping to collect some materials, but uh, I really want to just rush through this so I can get up and about to the three star village quests. So yeah, let's just try and speed through all of these. And where is the booth Boudrome? Is he is he in area seven? Let's hope. Oh cutscene. So those are the booth angles. Just feasting on the mushrooms and whoa, here comes their big boss. The Boudrome. Get out of my way, those are mushrooms! Wow. He looks... Oh, wow, wow. What an asshole. He's just... He's just like... Mushrooms, you get out of the way! Yeah. Whoa, he, he saw me. That's fast. So I'm just going to... Okay, he's gonna charge for sure. I'm just gonna try and land some shots on him. Okay. He's whoa 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 whoa. The Bufango aren't too happy about me being here either. Let me just try and clear them out at the same time as well. Alright, um the reason why I decided to use this Hunter's Bow instead of the Sponge Gear is because um the Hunter's Bow is a rapid rapid type bow. Considering how small Buf Boudrome is, um it wouldn't make much sense to try and whoa try and you know pierce through him. So yeah, for small monsters, it's ideal. It's more ideal to use um the oh da, darn it to use the rapid bow instead of the pierce bow. So yeah, I should not, you know, shame myself or embarrass myself in this fight. I hope I'm trying very hard to not get hit. Oh crap! He is really, really annoying. And it doesn't help that the grass is completely in my face all the time. Oh, he's, he's down. I'm gonna take the chance to shoot him as much as I can. There we go, he's back up again. I wonder if his, his head is weak spot, but um... His head is his weak spot, as was what I was trying to say. Just didn't have enough time to put it all into coherent words. <laughs> but, whoa, no, didn't manage to dodge in time. Darn it. Get back here! No, no! Oh, damn it. Ah, 
So far. He's coming. He's coming. Okay. Yeah. I thought um my feline companions the armor flute and the other the other feline companion is a uh, learning the demon flute so I would see its effects um in the next the next hunt so yeah um I thought Avanko the armor flute and Erex the demon flute yeah if I just realized that you know I said feline companion and the other feline companion like completely uninformative <laughs> I apologize for that. So yeah, the oh, ah, yeah, oh my gosh, annoying. Oh, he's down again. So the blue fango, as as you can, blue drum not blue fango. As you can, oh, is is dead? Okay, but yeah, he's a uh, is oh warning. Oh, a new monster has arrived in the area. Go ahead and study this unique creature. Okay. I don't have a good feeling about this. But let's just, you know, take a quick look. I wonder who it might be. Supply items delivered. Ooh. Where would it where would it start from though, that monster? This is pretty scary. so tense and the music is not helping. Well, I guess I can go and gather stuff while waiting for the monster to spawn. Or come into this area. Of crystals. Useful. And I'm sorry if I'm feeling like you can hear me sniffling in the background because my nose is just not being very cooperative today. So yeah, where would he be? this new guy well honey is always useful I guess I'll get her some now oh and if um, if there's a sudden oh ho oh. ho oh. oh. ho cutscene oh this one I remember now <laughs> yes so this is the introduction to the MH Portable 3rd flagship monster, Jinoga. Or Zinoga. But um I prefer the Japanese name Jinoga, it sounds it sounds cooler. But um that's just me. So yeah, excuse me while I blow my nose. Alright, I apologize for that short um, pause right there. So, a dangerous monster has arrived. To go back to the village, select go to village in the menu. Um, quest reward will still be paid. But let's see what can we do about this Jinoga. He's angry. I'm not sure if I can actually take him down with my current equipment. But I sure would like to try. Whoa, dangerous lightning balls. Well, um... Monster Hunter likes to throw this kind of... Oh my gosh! That was close! I like to throw, like, this kind of... Sort of events in normal quests to... Um, what do you call this? Introduce their flagship monsters to the players, which is quite cool if you ask me. But... To be honest, to the new players, this isn't exactly very fair. <laughs> oh darn. Um, I really don't want him to charge up too much because that would mean he's gonna move faster and do more damage and all sorts of nonsense. So, as much as possible, yeah, I want to stop that. But I don't think I can. Oh gosh, I hate. I hate this. Why am I challenging myself more than I should? Oh, those slams of uh, complete chaos. Oh gosh, please don't charge again. Aha! Stopped you. If I remember correctly, um, you can break his back. And when you do, um, it becomes his weak spot. 
Oh crap, I don't think I can stop this anytime soon. Let's just try raining down some air. Oh, yep. Nope. Just nope. <laughs> oh gosh, why is it in my face? Oh, that was so close. Trying to shoot his horns as well. Oh my oh 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 wow 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 that was that was cheating man that was cheat cheating That's not good I am going to get out of here first Oh 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 my god this is not going well I'm stunned No I'm alive How am I still alive Okay okay get out get out I am not well equipped for this Come on cats let's get out of here Ah, oh, that was close. <laughs> okay, first up, I need to top up my stamina. Um, pop all these first aid med kits, and uh, I guess just yeah potions as well. Why not? And let's have another go. If I do card though, um, yeah, it's gonna be the end. Like, I'm just gonna go back to village. I'm not even gonna bother try this anymore. <laughs> I mean, this is, I, as I said, I was supposed to be a little overgear, be overgeared for two star quests, but this guy is a, uh, ooh, I broke his horn. This guy seems to be a little more than, oh, ah, shoot, should have dodged way earlier than that. Oh my gosh, one more time, yep. Hit me baby one more time. Anyways, um, this guy though is, uh, is way over my... Leak way out of my leak one. Oh my god, please. Please, ah, oh, shit. I forgot to let go of the R button back there. Okay, two and three. Yep, I'm not falling for that. No! 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 Yep, just all the nopes. I can't see it! Oh my gosh! That, that tree stump though. <laughs> not very helpful. Oh my god, stop! Oh my gosh, please, please stop coming into my face. Do you know what's personal space? Oh, it rhymes. Oh damn, he dodged that. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's not hitting me. Not having any of that. Oh my... No! Ow, ow, ow! I, I think I'm gonna get stunned. Oh, I'm not. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly pop a mega potion. Need to keep my eyes on him at all times. Just gonna rain some arrows on him because can't really get a good shot. Oh gosh. One, two, three. Yep. When he's angry he does that three times, but um when he's not, he does it twice. Which is still bad enough. Oh I have no idea what happened there, but yay! He's out of his um supercharged mode, so that's always good. I'm gonna grab this as well. Well done, my cats! You guys did great. No, no, ah, damn the end. Okay, so I'm just gonna follow this guy down. And let's see. Whoosh! Nope, not today, Jinoga, not today. Nope. So, as you can see, there's a huge difference in um, speed when he's charged and when he's not charged. One and two. Yep, these are way easier to dodge. The timing is much easier to predict. But when he's angry though, and when he's charged, wow. This guy's a beast. A huge beast. Oh yeah, broke his horns! So his horns require um you to hit it like sort of break it twice. Yeah. So oh my god, the boo the boo fango, please. Oh he's fatigued. I'm gonna try my best and uh break his back. Oh you can break his arms as well. Oh, he flinched. Nice. Oh, the blue fango is so being annoying. Nice one, cat. Whoever threw that bomb is a boss. Oh, okay, that was close. So basically, when he did that little whoa, when he did a little um, head movement, followed by a jump, that thing would actually um, engage this. Uh, he would start eating you, basically. Like he would start grabbing onto you and. Uh, eating you. 
but it only affects hunters and not the cats for portable third. In 4U, I as far as I know in 4U, I'm not sure about 3U, um, it will actually get uh, get the cats as well. So the cats can also be uh, you know grappled or stunned or whatever you want to call that thing. And he the monster basically regains stamina when he successfully does that. Starts eating you or your cat. He is still quite fatigued. And uh I'm just gonna try and break his back as much as I can with the raining arrows. Oh my gosh, nope. Nope. So the idea is basically to dodge. Um either stay far away far enough so that you won't get hit by his hands, or you dodge underneath him. Underneath his arms when he does that. So I have no idea what he's doing right there. So I'm just gonna pelt him some arrows from a distance. Oh, he's trying to charge. I'm trying to stop it, but I don't think I can. Yeah, he successfully charged once. No! Dodging through the, the attack like a boss. Oh my gosh, what's he doing now? Oh, nope. And nope. So as you can see, he's slightly faster than before. Oh crap, I missed that completely. What a whiff. So I like to call Jinoga like the representation of um, pride in terms of in Monster Hunter because just look at how how prideful the way he walks, the way he holds his posture, and look at that look at that pride walk. He's just walking at you like I can kill you anytime. I'm just you know taking my own sweet time about it. So yeah, he's what I feel like the personification of pride from Capcom. No. Just no! And all that bold huge moves where he uses his body, tossing it right at you. And this does not bode well for me. He's fully charged again. No! Oh my gosh. I hope this doesn't like end up as another 30 minute or like 40 minute video. <laughs> I have no idea how long it takes to kill this guy, honestly. With this kind of equipment that is. Oh wow. What happened? I'm not sure. Oh, oops. I thought he was going to remain in that posture for a bit longer. Oh, that was so close. Yep. So he's going to shoot all these lightning bolts. And oh, I did I forget to mention that. Um, wow, shit, I hit that. Yeah, as you can see, I'm currently thunder blighted. So, oh my god, move angle, please. When you're thunder blighted, um, you... Oh my gosh, please, move angle, stop. Oh my god. Oh shit! The belly dodged that. When you're thunder blighted, um, you basically get stunned way more easily. Or like, yeah, like my cats are right now. Okay, I, I need, I need to get out of here and heal up. This is too dangerous. The Bufango is completely wrecking me. <laughs> I wasn't getting bright, but the Genoga, it was the Bufango. <laughs> oh crap! Oh, uh, please, please don't come, Bufango. I, I really don't appreciate it. So another thing is, um, because Jinoga is already lightning type. Oh gosh, don't roar! That's rude! Uh, oh, wrong button, wrong button, wrong button. Oh, that was close. Oh, he went for Evian Go. Oh my god, poor cat! My poor feline companion! Ah. I'm just gonna try it, lend some shots on his. No! Ah! Oh. Oh my god, every time I, I dodge like this, I need to hold my breath because it's so scary. I don't want to die. This is really pretty tense, intense, whatnot. He's running away. Is it even possible to kill him at this stage though? I don't know. But if I do though, that would be pretty great. Ah, I don't, I don't have any more rations. I guess I can go back to camp and get it. It's just going to be a little bit of a detour. Oh my gosh, please don't. Nope. Kill, kill the booth angle, won't you? <laughs> Alright, just gonna... Just gonna break his arms. I'm not sure if that will... Oh crap, he is angry. Yep, so as you can see, he's even more sparkly and... Oh! Wow! That was one hit! <laughs> that was one hit! <laughs> Hot damn! <laughs> Not cool. Not cool at all. So 
So yeah. Nope, I'm not accepting this defeat. I'm going for him again. That's right. I am a complete idiot for doing that, but let's just try. Well, I have up to three cards, so if I can kill him in the before I card the second time, that'll be really good. But if I do card the second time, I promise I'll, I won't waste your time. I'll just, you know, get the hell out of here. <laughs> it's still worth a try, I mean... It's Jinoga. He's basically in Monster Hunter Portable 3rd, most monsters are weak against lightning. So hunting Jinoga is going to be a very uh, common thing to do. Like you're just going to hunt him and get the lightning equipment that he provides, which would definitely help you in um, hunting most other monsters. Oh my gosh, please stop this. I oh, I did! Yes! So the thing about Jinoga is, if you manage to break his third level charge, even while he's enraged, if I am not wrong, he loses the enraged status as well. Oh gosh, the buff angle, please. You're being really annoying. Oh, he's fatigued again. Just helping him with more arrows, because why not? He's gonna shoot a thunderball. Gonna miss it. I can't really see him pass all this grass though. Oh, he's gonna try and eat the cat, but it's not gonna work. Yep, he's still doing the pride walk even though he's fatigued. Oh my goodness. Thanks for the defense up. Totally appreciate it. Wow, how, how did I not hear anything? I didn't want to shoot him point blank. Alright, I'm just gonna quickly pick up the shiny and go after him. I don't want him to start recovering his stamina or charging up while I'm not there because that is going to be a pain in the ass to face against. As you can already see, that one hit though, wow, <laughs> that was that was way too much. Okay, he's uh, yep, he's trying to feast on the Gagua. So I'm just trying to go and continuously pelt him with arrows or not. Oh, come on. Get him! Oh shucks. Well, he's recovered his uh, stamina. That's not good. He's charging again! Like, which monster charges right in front of you like this? Only he does. Only he's proud enough to be like, Hey, I can even do what I want in front of your face. So yeah. I mean, if you were to compare this to like other monsters like say... Um, for those of you who know, Rajang... He doesn't even charge like this, he, he just he just bursts into his enraged status. And oh gosh, he's full charged again. I oh I barely had enough stamina just to dodge that. Oh my goodness. This is really, really going down to the wire, isn't it? Yes! I think I broke his back, did I? I can't tell. No, I had enough of your nonsense. Just gonna rain some arrows down. Ah, yes, flinched him. But still, it's not enough. Until he's dead! Oh, too early! I gotta get out of here. I can't, I can't fight him unless I'm at full health. If not, <laughs> he'll one-shot me with that tail swipe. And even at full health, I think I may not even stand a chance. I'm not sure. Uh, let me just get a blue mushroom because I can and uh Okay. Heading back into the fight zone. Into the zone. Yep, trying to get him. Okay, here it comes. Trying to reach me, okay. Okay, he's oh oh. Whoa! Nope. One, two, and three. I'm not completely sure I need to dodge all of that, but you know, better save than sorry. Ouch! I couldn't dodge past that. Oh no! Oh oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh okay okay. This is this is bad. Okay, this is really not going well. <laughs> Woohoo! I'm out! I'm out! <laughs> 
Okay, at least I still got first aid mats. Yep. Gonna pop a mega potion as well. Could barely do anything. Uh. Alright, let's go, cats. Time to poon this Jinoga. If we can, that is. I've honestly not. I'm honestly not sure how far I am into defeating him. Oh, he's enraged again. Oh gosh. Is he. Oh, he's limping! He's actually limping! I, can I actually do this? Oh, shikes! That would be amazing! Alright, alright, just give him a moment for him to get out of the entrance and um... I can actually shock trap him but... Oh, I remember! What I was about to say earlier was that because he is lightning based... Um, if you actually want to trap him, the best way is to pitfall trap and not shock trap because... Shock traps will actually charge him! Oh, crap! Yeah, so you help him gain a level of charge. So, you might want to avoid that, unless you really have no other choice. Or, oh, he's gonna do that signature move. Yep, this is a signature move where he just zaps lightning all over the place and so melee characters will have to be very careful. If you're close to him, oh my goodness, that was so close, I nearly died again. <laughs> no, just no. Oh yes, I did it! Alright, so actually, I can trap him now, because he's, uh... No! Yeah, because he's... Uh, okay. Alright, let me just get it straight. You can use shock traps, but if you use it on him, he's going to gain a charge, essentially. But if he's already at a max charge, then the shock trap will do nothing at all. So basically, yeah, it's gonna be wasted. So I'm just gonna wait for a while. He's, uh... Um, He's gonna go to sleep because he's uh, already limping. And the moment he falls asleep, I'm gonna place a shock trap and capture him because I don't think I'm in a position to really want to risk killing him right now because number one, um, my equipment is not that good. Number two, saves time. And number three, uh, I probably don't want to waste all my potions on this guy or just like this one fight. Because, yeah, resources are still quite um, important for me. I'm still a newbie hunter, to say the least. Where is he? Yep, there he is. He's sleeping. Alright, so I'm just gonna pop a shock trap right here. Prepare the tranquilizer bombs. Alright, he's shocked. One, and two. Done! That's it! Done! Oh yeah! I got myself a Jinoga! <laughs> Oh crap, that was so close. So if I didn't um, throw the Trank Bombs in time and the Shock Trap expired, he would gain one charge and I'll be in big trouble. Essentially. Phew. Gosh, this, this is pretty damn exciting. So I never expected that I could actually do this. This is a... Uh, quite a feat. I think... I'm honestly quite bre like... Ouch. Jaggy, please. Jaggy. Yeah, I'm honestly quite out of breath now with all that excitement. Phew. So, let's just check the reward screen first. Although it's still gonna take a while. Yeah, the huge beast. This guy. He is one boss. Look at, look at this guy. Just look, look at him, sleeping like a baby. When he was so proud about all of that fighting just now. Special quest clear. Oh crap, this is the first time I've ever seen this screen. Yep. So, let's see, we got some bones, uh-huh, uh-huh, the Jinoga shell, Electrofer, yeah. And, ooh. Alrighty, so... Nice, he's in my monster lock now. So I received a new award, Jasper Box. Wow, I have no idea what's that, but okay. So yes, I would like to save. This is a very, very proud moment that I have achieved. Awesome. New outfits available for Poogie. Okay, sure. Let's go check that out. So, yes. As you can see, oh, it's a bit laggy, I'm sorry. Now, um, I can create, like, 
No. I can't create it. Can I? I can't? Darn it. I don't seem to have enough... Um... Oh, yes, I do. I'm now able to create the... Some of the Jinoga parts, at least. And the Jinoga's parts are... A Jinoga armor, I mean. It's pretty good, because it gives um, gloves off. Which, um... It actually... It's actually equivalent to latent power, and it gives thunder attack, and it boosts uh, normal slash rapid shots. The only problem with it though is that it gives a uh, taunt, the skill taunt, yes. And basically taunt, uh, yeah, as the skill itself, the skill name itself says it all. It uh, attracts monsters, large monsters, to attack you more easily, even if you are hunting as a party. So hunters that use bow would. Preferably want to avoid that. Yeah. And uh, oh, not this one. I want to go and check the Poogie outfit. So let's see what outfits do I have now. Yukumo Wanderer. Wow. That one looks good. Angel Leota. Uh, nope. Yeah, I like the Yukumo Wanderer. Because Yukumo Village. <laughs> Alright, so thank you guys for watching. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It's been a really tough one. <laughs> so, if you like it, please um, like, leave a comment, give me some feedback, and subscribe if you really, really enjoy your vi these videos. So, um, Christmas is coming, so I'm trying to upload videos every day as much as I can, and at least until after Christmas. And so, happy hunting everyone! MH Geek out!